Hello and welcome to part 3 of our tutorial series on bar design. In part 2 of our project titled Downtown Bar and Grill, we designed our cocktail stations for the front of bar area consisting of a glass rack, ice bin, bottle display, and dump sink. In this video we will continue our design by adding our bar sinks, glass washer, and drain boards. Let's get started. Now that we have our cocktail stations in place, let's work on making our bar code compliant. State and local health codes require all bars have three types of NSF approved sinks. They include a wall mounted hand sink with a soap dispenser and single use paper towel dispenser, a dump sink for the disposal of liquid matter from bus glasses, and a three or four compartment sink with integral drain boards for the washing, rinsing, and sanitizing of barware. However, local health codes in your area may vary on the number of hand sinks and the number of sink bowls for wear washing sinks. So be sure to check with your local health department officials to ensure your bar is code compliant. Since we've already added our dump sinks in our cocktail station lineup, let's go ahead and add our wear washing sink. There are a couple of options in our bar design for placing our three compartment sink. The first is along the front of the bar. This is an ideal location, especially if the bar will have limited staff. Locating the three compartment sink along the front wall allows the bar staff easy access for washing bust bar wear while keeping an eye out for thirsty customers and waitresses with drink orders. However, our bar owner will be serving bottled beer products and wants a beer box centered along the front wall which won't leave adequate room for our sink. So in this case we'll need to locate our wear washing sink along either side of the bar. Currently, we have enough room for a 60 inch wide by 21 inch deep three compartment sink along either sidewall. So for now, we'll place our three compartment sink along the left side of the bar. In addition to a three compartment sink, our bar owner wants an under counter glass washer incorporated into the design. Glass washers are labor savers and provide the perfect solution during peak periods when bar staff cannot keep up with the incoming volume of bus glasses. There are two types of automatic undercounter glass washers. They include rack style and rotary style. Both are available in either high temp or low temp models. For this project, we'll be adding a 25 inch deep by 25 inch wide low temp rotary style glass washer. In addition to our glass washer, we'll need to add a drain board to serve as a clean landing table for our glassware. So for this design, we'll add a 21 inch deep by 30 inch wide drain board to the left side of our washer. Our final code required product will be a hand sink. Due to the size of our bar, we'll be adding two hand sinks, one on each side of the bar at each entry point. Most state and local codes require hand sinks to be readily available and conveniently located within 15 to 20 feet of food service workstations. In addition, hand sinks must be located 24 inches from food service prep or utensil wear washing areas. If a 24 inch spacing is not possible between the hand sink and the food workstation, most health departments will allow you to install a hand sink with a side splash to prevent cross contamination. By locating the hand sinks at each entry point of the bar, we'll have adequate room for our 24 inch spacing from our wear washing stations. Now, it's important to note if you're not purchasing a hand sink with built in dispensers, you will need to install a separate wall mounted soap and towel dispenser for each sink to be code compliant. This concludes part 3 bar sinks in our video series of bar design. Select part 4 titled bar refrigeration products for your next video. Thanks for watching.